But yeah, hey, how y'all doing? Welcome back to the Major Slack Attack here first off for titillating tactical Skyrim gameplay. And here we are in Windhelm. Alright. Windhelm with my Maximus Orcus. Maximus Orcus, my orc build. I'm at level 5. I haven't spent any perk points. And if you want to follow along with this walkthrough or this tutorial, I strongly recommend that you do the Helgen Keep Power Start, the big money power start and do the tutorial how to make more money. I'll put links to all those videos in the video description. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to sell anything to any merchant. Well, that's easy, Slack. All you do is just get the merchant perk. That's it, end of video. Oh, no, 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 that's not the end of the video, okay? That's not the end of the video. Here's the merchant perk in the merchant, uh, in the speech skill tree, just to demonstrate, okay? I'm right here in Windhelm, the Windhelm Marketplace. Every merchant will buy only a certain kind of merchandise. Some merchants will buy everything like a general merchant such as Avil Atheron. He's a general merchant. He'll buy everything. However, other merchants such as blacksmiths will only buy weapons and armor. Okay. There we go. Only weapons, armor, and um, related raw materials. Other merchants such as apothecaries will only buy potions, food, and ingredients. Let's go into the white file. There you go, only potions, food, and ingredients. Now, if you're trying to sell a big batch of potions or a big batch of anything, it is tremendously useful to have the ability to sell anything to any merchant. It just opens up your opportunities and puts a lot more merchant money at your disposal. And what I'm going to show you in this video is a quick and efficient way to power level speech up to 50 in order to get the merchant perk. And this all starts with Sadri. Sadri is on the east side of Windhelm at Sadri's used wares right here. And let's just take a look at my skill tree here. I have not spent any perks at all. What we're going to do is we're going to use potions to power level speech up to 50. All right. And the only perk point we're going to spend is one point in haggling, okay? That's the only perk point you need to spend in order to do this tutorial. Alright, now, Sadri is a speech skill trainer. The only problem is he will only offer you his services as a speech skill trainer if you do him a favor. How do we do the favor, Slack? This is how you do the favor. Ask him this right here. Nothing in here is stolen. Nothing, nothing at all? Of course nothing in here is stolen. Only a careless, shameful, idiotic fetcher would do something as stupid as to buy pilfered goods. Oh, by Azura, I've made a terrible mistake. I bought a gold ring, and Viola Giordano has been missing a ring that looks just like it. Okay, and offered to return the ring for him. It's not that easy. She'd go to the Jarl if she knew I was even remotely involved. You have to get it to her some other way. Look, it's dangerous. But if you sneak the ring into her house, put it in a dresser or something, I will make it worth your while. Kids, there you go. You got your standing orders. Sneak a ring into a dresser in Viola Giordano's house. Let's go do it. Don't let Viola catch you in her house. Okay, can do. Viola or Viola? Let's go with Viola, what he said. Viola lives on the west side of town in Windhelm. Okay, well, you're here currently in Windhelm. I don't know if he showed you the map yet. Windhelm, okay. Oops. In relation to Whiterun, Whiterun is there. Windhelm is there, right? Go past the center of town, that's the Camden Hearth Hall. Take the first right here, go out this alley. Pass through the graveyard where the blood on the ice quest takes My place. Don't really up these steps. Hang it right here, go up these steps. Has been Hang it right here, and this is Viola Giordano's house. Now you're gonna have to sneak in, you're gonna have to lockpick your way in. So, do a quick save, and get picking. And we're in. As soon as you get inside, go to the dresser immediately to your right, open it up, 
access the apparel list in your inventory, scroll on down, and put Viola's ring in the dresser. That's all you have to do. And get the F out of Dodge. Once you're back out, simply return to Sadri. As you're doing this step, I strongly Thank recommend you. that you A, do I'm not wait for any time to, to recover your stamina, no or B, something I like to do because I'm really lazy sometimes, is fast travel back to Windhelm to get halfway across town real quick. Okay, Don't do that because you may run into a glitch where Sadri's shop is always closed and you'll have to w leave Windhelm in order to fix the glitch. And it's a real pain in the ass. So don't wait and don't fast travel. So back at Sadri's, in we go. Let me know if you see anything you like. Hold still there, buddy. Okay, talk to him. I'm taking care of that little problem. Okay, I placed Viola's ring in her house. Thank you, thank you. Azura's prophecy always guides you to fortune. And he gives you some Speaking money. Of fortune, here. Everything I earned from my last shipment, it's yours. For level 5, it's 400 bucks. If you're at a lower level, it could be 250 bucks. And you see, now we have the option to buy speech skill training from Sadri. All right, all we need is money. And why this is most important is because Sadri is also a merchant. He's what I call a merchant trainer. All right, any merchant trainer is a very, very valuable person in Skyrim because what you can do is you can buy skill training off them and then sell them stuff to get your money back all right and that's completely legitimate all right so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna make potions from the big money power star that we did we got a whole bunch of ingredients hopefully you didn't convert any of these ingredients into potions yet okay we're gonna make potions bring them to Sadri buy speech skill training and then sell them the potions to get our money back that's the plan let's do it and do we have uh, any money right now Yes, we do. Let's start off by making some potions. Another thing that is great about Sadri is the gold that you spend remains in his inventory even if you go across town. So if you go across town to the white file to make potions, when you come back, the gold that you spent um, remains in his inventory. This is unlike other merchant trainers, say for example the blacksmith in Mark Hearth. If you go any fair distance away from her, all the gold that you spent on training disappears from her inventory and your inventory defaults back to the, the normal amount. All right. So that's the thing about Sadri. This is something I do with every character build. I power level speech up to 50 almost immediately okay now before you do any major operations such as potion making or selling to Sadri and buying speech skill training I strongly recommend that you do a quick save um, just so you can back up in case you make a mistake All right so let's get mo potion making first batch of potions we're gonna make is dragon's tongue fly amanita and more tapanella I strongly recommend that you only make 10 at a time this will keep your leveling under control because as you may or may not know you're only allowed to buy skill training five times per character level so let's say right now you make a big batch of potions let's say you make like a batch of 50 potions you're going to level up alchemy so much that you're going to pass over three or four character levels and lose the opportunity to buy skill training on those character levels okay so only make 10 at a time all right so here we go 10 Dragon's Tongue, Fly Amanita, and more Tapanella. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. And you also want to make a potion of haggling. You may have one in your inventory already, but just in case you don't, you can make that with by mixing either butterfly wing and tundra cotton. Okay, you haggle for 5% better prices for 30 seconds, or you can mix Dragon's Tongue and Tundra Cotton. It does the same thing. You probably want to start with Butterfly Wing to save your Dragon's Tongue. All right, so that's it. You should have one free potion of haggling. I keep forgetting where you get this, either from the Thieves Guild uh, quest or from doing the favorite quest for Arcadia back on Whiterun. This thing here, everyone gets this for free at some point. 
early in the game. All right, so that's it. Let's go back to Sadri's. Okay, here we are back at Sadri's. Now, another thing I should mention. Everybody starts out with their speech skill at 15, except the Nord and the Breton. They start out with their speech skill at 20. So let's assume you're starting out with your speech skill at 15. Right now, I've got 10 extra points because of the Fortify Persuasion bonus, all right? This one here, we give a bigger coin, or a bigger coin and our speech craft increased by 10 points per one hour. So really, our speech skill is at 18. Everybody should pretty much have their speech skill at 18 because you sold some stuff that will level up your speech once. You talk to the White Run Guard. White Run Guard to get into White Run, that'll level up your speech twice. And you talk to the Riften Guard to get into Riften, that'll level up your speech three times, okay? So your speech is most likely at 18 now, all right? So this is what we're going to do. Buy speech skill training five times from Sadri. And this will cost you 1250 bucks at this stage in the game, okay? So if you got that, you can do it right away. If you don't have that, just sell them some potions. Okay, so there we go. We've used up all our skill training purchase rights for level 4. And we've leveled up. So let's exit. Go out. I'm just choosing health because this is an orc and he's training to be a gladiator. Alright. And our speech is now up to level 23. Now, Sadri has all our money. Don't you, Sadri? Yep, this is the money we just spent on speech skill training. We can get this money back by selling him the potions we just made. Alright, so first of all, let's take a potion of haggling. And now we have all these bonuses to bump up our prices to help us make more money selling our potions, okay? This is covered in the How to Make More Money video. A link to that is in the video description, okay? have all those bonuses. Let's sell them some potions. My good fortune with those who deserve it. Take a look. Now, sell them potions one at a time because you'll level up your speech a lot more. Alright? So don't sell them a big batch, okay? Sell them one at a time. See, I already level up speech again. So these are all the potions that we just made. Potion of Regenerate Stamina. Sell as many as you can to bottom out his gold. Might as well sell him this. And this. And he's down to 27 gold. There we go. Now we got all our, all our money back. We, we could buy speech skill training again. And we maxed out our speech skill training purchase rights for level 5, and we leveled up to level 6. Let's level up again. Put another point in your health. You can put into Magicka or Stamina as you so desire, according to your build. And our speech is now up to 30. We can get the Allure perk which gives you 10% better prices with the opposite sex since we're playing as a guy we're not going to get that benefit but this will put us closer to the merchant perk that's our goal we have to get speech up to level 50 all right so that's that sadri has all our money but we're most likely out of potions to sell he's got a lot of our money but we don't have any more power potions to sell so let's go make some more we could sell in this and this i forget where i got that Sell them the frostbite venom. I'm just gonna sell them these all at once because they're only like they don't, they're not worth very much. Okay, let's go make some more potions. Now, if you'll excuse me. Mm. Uh oh, I accidentally dragged Sadri out with me. Go back inside. All right, back to the white file to make some more potions. Okay, back at the alchemy lab at the white file. Same deal here. Dragon's Tongue, I don't appreciate Fly Amanita, and more Tapanella. Only make 10 at a time. That's 10. And if you run out of ingredients for that, start working on 
Frost Merriam, Purple Mountain Flower, and Wheat, okay? But I've got enough, so I don't need to do that. Let's make sure we got a potion of haggling to work with. Yes, we do. Let's make another one just in case. Let's make three or four more since we're running low on Dragon's Tongue. To make sure we have enough to finish the job. So Dragon's Tongue and Tundra Cotton. Let's say, let's make four. There we go. Okay, so now we have a new batch of potions to sell to Sadri. Let's go back to Sadri. Okay, I just got the glitch for Sadri's shop as always closed even if it's during the day if you get this glitch stand in front of his shop and wait until nine just after nine in the morning you can see him down there he's on his way to work there he is right there okay so it's currently nine in the morning just after nine in the morning and his shop is closed even during the day this typically happens when you're talking to Sadri as you exit his shop you saw that he just did that and whenever you're talking to a Skyrim NPC, as you go through a door, they get dragged through the door with you. And with Sadri, often it means his shop remains closed when you go back to it, even during business hours. Now it's open, so that's how you get out of that glitch. Take a good look around. I'm back sure inside, quick save. If not, let's... Good to see. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. We want to get some of our money back. So, let's take a potion of uh, haggling. Fortified barter, there we go. All my goods are legit. Oops, check your active effects. Oh yeah, fortified barter, 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 and oops, looks like our... Yeah, looks like my uh, my fortified persuasion bonus ran out, trying to correct that glitch. Uh, I'm just going to blow it off and I'll hit up the beggar on the way back to the white file next run, okay? I like to share my good fortune with. Take a look. Okay, once again, sell them potions one at a time to level up speech more. And that's it. That's all he can afford. Let's buy some speech skill training. Well, you've come to the right place. There we go, we use up all our skill training purchase rights for level 6, and we leveled up level 7. See, so you keep everything nice and under control by only making batches of 10 potions at a time. So out we go, let's level up. Another point into health, or magicka, or stamina as you so desire according to your build. Let's get our money back by selling them some potions. And might as well sell him some of these poisons of paralysis since we're pretty much finished with those. And let's just leave that gold there. He should have it when we come back. Exit the shop while he's not talking to us. Good. Okay, so now his shop should be open when we come back. Let's go find the beggar and refresh our fortify persuasion bonus. There she is, Silda. Give her one gold piece. So good to see you again. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. There we go, we got the gift of charity happening again. Okay, so there's all our more money bonuses in effect again. Fortify barter, fortify barter, fortify barter, fortify persuasion, and we can take a potion to get the fifth bonus. Let's get back to, to the white file and make some more potions. All right, back at the alchemy lab at the White File. You're probably out of the Dragon's Tongue Fly Amanita Mortapanella potion line. Let's move on to... Yeah, we got two Dragon's Tongue. 
Actually, we can make two more, but let's save those two for Fortify Barter Potions. Uh, let's move on to Frost Miriam, Purple Mountain Heart, and Wheat, which is another power potion you can make. Okay, let's make ten of those. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once again, this is not putting any points into alchemy. You don't want to do that. You want to save your points for combat skills. All right. You only need to put points into speech. That's that. Let's get back to Sadri's and take care of business. And Sadri's is open. That's good. That's a plus. Save the game. Doing a business video here, boss. All right. Do a business video. There's like talk to Sadri. He should still have that cash that we left him with. There you go, 1137 bucks. So we can sell him some potions. Let's get out. Take a potion of haggling. Or a fortified barter. There we go. All our more money bonuses are in effect. There should be five. Four times fortified barter and one times fortified persuasion. Down to potions. And once again, one at a time. So you, so you level up speech more. There we go, bottom that is gold. Let's buy some speech skill training. Trader dropped by. Well, you come to the right place. Buy four times. We're just short on the fifth time. We need 460 for the fifth time. And we only have 298 gold, so let's sell them some of our potions. Don't level up yet. Don't level up because we have one more skill training purchase right for this level, okay? Yes, yes, I haven't. Oh, a bit go back this, to this screen. That. Sell them some more potions to get your money back. One at a time. And that's it. We've sold them all our potions. This gold is down to 1,025. We have more money. All Let's right. buy the final skill training rate we have for this level. Well, you come to the right place. There you go. And we used up all our skill training purchase rates for level 7. Now we can level up. Another point into health. And as you can see, our speech is now at 42. There's a bonus. There's a 10 point bonus. So that does count. You see it's outlined in, or highlighted in the green. That means you're getting a bonus. It's really at 42. So we are three short of the target level, which is 45. Okay. You only want to get to 45. And I'll explain why in a minute or two. All right. So. We'll probably level up speech one more time, selling them some more potions from the next batch. So we only need to buy speech skill training from them two more times. So let's just do the math on that. It will cost 480 plus 490. That's a total of 970 gold that we need. All right, we have 586. So basically, you only want to make just enough potions to cover that cost. That's like maybe three or four potions. Let's say five potions. That should cover the cost. Back at the alchemy lab at the white file. Tell you what, let's make a batch of ten potions to, to bottom out its gold supply so we have some, you know, spending money after we finish with all this. So what were we working on? Um, Frost, Miriam, Purple, Mountain Flower, and Wheat. That's already, that's probably all used up. Indeed it is. So let's move on to our next power potion. Blue Mountain Flower. Hanging Moss and Lavender. We can, we can make a crap ton of these, but once again, let's just make 10. Alright? Just to cover the cost. Okay, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. That's it. We're done. Make sure you got a potion of Haggling or a potion of Fortified Barter on board. We do. And there's the potions we're going to sell. Let's get back to Sadri's. Back at Sadri's, do a quick save just in case you mess up. Go to Sadri. Check out his gold supply. It should be the same as before. Indeed it was, so we can get his gold back by selling him some potions. Let's get out of here. Take a potion of fortified barter. Glug glug. Hit up Sadri. Treasures, yeah. And start selling. We can sell all these one at a time to level up speech. There we go. We just level up speech again. Bottom out is gold supply. If you get away with leveling up speech again, that'd be great. 
Nope, we couldn't pull it off. So now we have to buy some speech skill training up to level 45. So we're now at level 43. Speech skill training. Two more times. That's it. One, two. And that's it. We have arrived at level 45. Now, you have rights to purchase skill training three more times. At this point, you may want to go to another skill trainer and purchase skill training from him to use up these rights. All right? I'll leave that up to you. Now, if you'll excuse me. Um, now we're that we're at level 45. Let me just save the game here for other purposes. Okay, now that we're at level 45, we're going to collect some speech skill books. All right, there's five of them that we can collect to level up our speech to 50. These are really easy finds. And I find it's best to use them now because I don't really need much more in the way of the speech skill tree here. Typically with all builds, I stop at the merchant perk. I don't get any other perks. This is the only other perk I want, the merchant perk, in order to sell any item to any kind of merchant. Okay, I don't go for the investor perk usually or any other perks. So it's okay to collect these speech skill books now. All right. So there's one speech skill book right behind Sajiri's counter right here. Don't take it. Just read it. That will level up your speech to 46. Next speech skill book is in Bard's College at Solitude. So let's go there now. Solitude. Okay, we ran into a vampire here at Solitude. While they're busy with that, let's go down to the Bard's College. To find the Bard's College, we're going to travel south in Solitude, okay? It should be south. East, sorry. There's the Hall of the Dead, or the Solitude Catacombs right down there where we got all those hanging moss in a previous video, the Big Money Power Start. And find this road going to the southeast. Okay, I was half right. Okay. And halfway down, you're going to find Bard's College, this building right here. And actually, we're going to go around the back. Go to the back door of the Bard's College. Hang a left, find the stairs, and go all the way up the stairs to the top. Okay? All the way up the stairs. Here we are at the top. Find the classroom. Here's the classroom. Go over to the bookshelf here. Look on top of this shelf here, and you find the buying game. Read it. Don't steal it. And you level up your speech to 47. Next, let's go to White Run. Here we go, White Run. In White Run, go to Bellathor's. Okay, Bellathor's General Goods. Got something for just about everybody in, here. in his shop, at the back to the left here, is the biography of the Wolf Queen. Read, don't steal, just read, and you'll level up your speech to 48. Next, let's go to Falkreath. In Falkreath, from the fast travel point, just head down here, hang a left, and go into Dead Man's Drink, the local inn. In Dead Man's Drink, go behind the counter. Look down here and find a dance in fire. Once again, read, don't steal, and that will level up your speech to 49. Next, Mark Hearth. And I haven't been there yet with this build, so I'm gonna have to hire a carriage to take me there. I can take you to where do you want to go? Mark Cart costs you twenty gold. You can well afford it. Ever been to Markarth? Some say it was built by the dwarves. In Markarth, 
go to Arnleaf and Sons Trading Company. Go inside, go to the left, go all to the way to the back and find this book here, another Dance and Fire book. And this will level up your speech to 50. Mission accomplished. All right, so we now have speech at level 50. The speech at level 50, we can get the Merchant Perk. The magical and extremely powerful Merchant Perk. All right, and now we can sell any item to any kind of merchant. Oh yeah. So we can sell say potions to a blacksmith. Let's go try that out now. Need a new blade. Okay, what have you got for sale? Blades, helmets. As you can see she will now buy potions. Previously a blacksmith will not buy potions. Likewise we can go to an apothecary for example, the Hag's Cure. And sell her weapons and armor. So, you're interested in my potions and ingredients? There we go, we can now sell her weapons and armor. Previously we could not do that. All right, so now you can sell any item to any merchant. Now, you let me know if you need a cure. Or anything else. And I'm going to show you next video how immensely powerful this perk is by setting up what I like to call the power enchanting machine at the College of Winterhold, okay? I'm going to show you how to power power level enchanting using a special system I developed at the College of Winterhold and it requires you to have the merchant perk and this is something else I do also with every build, alright? So there you go, that's how to sell anything to any merchant and that's the quickest and most efficient way to power level speech up to 50 to get that prick. Hey, I want to thank you all very much for watching and if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, hey, you know what to do. Like, fave, comment, and subscribe. Alright, see you next video.